This is Dave Espino with The Daily Hustle, and in today's Daily Hustle video, I want to show you six ways that you can make money with online courses. And only one of those six ways requires that you be an expert on a topic. So five of the six ways do not require you to be an expert. Okay, I hope, I hope this gets you excited because having online courses is one of the greatest ways to build an ongoing passive income. I'm enjoying a great passive income from my online courses. I not only have my online courses on a site like Udemy, but I also have my online courses on other sites like Teachable, Amazing.com, Skill Success, and a few others that are popping up. And so what you can do once you have an online course is you can upload it to various different online learning platforms and make passive income from each one of those platforms. So it's very, very cool to be able to have that and multiply your income, so to speak, by having your courses on multiple different platforms. So let's start with six ways to make money with online courses. The first way is the way everyone thinks it's normally done, and that is you create courses on topics that you're knowledgeable in. Now, don't discount this, by the way. Uh, it is amazing to me how many times people launch a course about a topic they're really familiar with and they don't really expect anything of it, and it ends up being a successful course, making them hundreds or even thousands of dollars a month in passive income. So do not discount this, and don't think to yourself, oh, I'm not an expert, or oh, who would want to learn from me? Oftentimes, uh, you can develop a beginner's course, uh, or even an intermediate or an advanced course, depending on where your knowledge is and what you're knowledgeable about. So don't discount this, although, the next five that we're going to talk about do not require that you be an expert. Now, when it comes to creating courses on topics you're knowledgeable in, uh, one of the best ways to start is on Udemy. That's U-D-E-M-Y dot com. Uh, and that's because Udemy does a lot of the marketing for you. They actually advertise your course. They generate traffic to Udemy, which generates traffic to your course. And it's a great way to get started. But once you know a little bit about how to generate traffic and how to get people to your course, then you want to graduate to other platforms. Uh, these are called self-hosted platforms where you have more control over the money that you earn from your courses and where you get the lion's share of that income and that revenue from your course. Number two, learn the course creation process and then co-create courses with experts. So in this case, you don't have to be the expert because you're going to partner with an expert you're going to learn the course creation process. You're going to learn the ins and outs of how to get a course created, how to get it produced in a high quality, and how to get it uploaded and put onto a site like Udemy or Teachable or some of these sites. And you're going to co-create these courses with an expert, somebody who is an expert. So you bring the knowledge of how to get it done and the expert brings the knowledge uh, on the topic. And by doing this, you can set up a business where you're simply partnering with experts, partnering with authors, speakers, uh, gurus, experts, coaches, and you're doing the part that they don't know how to do and they're doing the part that you don't know how to do. And that's a great way to go. You can just simply co-create courses and split the revenue 50-50 or whatever uh, percentage that you prefer. Number three is to interview experts and compile those interviews into a course. I have one of my courses is where I interviewed several online instructors. And I was able to take those video interviews and put them into a course, compile them, and now I get to sell that content as a course. Now, obviously, an interview is different than a course. A course kind of takes you step by step through a process and through learning something. But an interview is simply another way to compile and convey information that people can learn from. It's a different format than a standard online course, but it still can hold a lot of value, especially if the experts that you're interviewing are of a high caliber. I did this once for a coaching program that I created called the Infopreneur Mastery Program, and I interviewed some of the top infopreneurs in the world about their processes and how they made money with infopreneuring, meaning selling online uh, information products and online courses and things like this. This is before the online course world really became big. And because of the names of the people that I was inter interviewing for the course, 
I was able to generate a su substantial amount of money from sales of that course. So that's a good model to follow as well. Number four is produce courses for experts. In other words, you do the course creation on behalf of the expert. You're going to narrate the course, you're going to create the videos, and you're going to upload the videos. You're going to basically do it all on behalf of that expert. Now, I had this situation happen where I found out that there was a venture capitalist that wanted to create an online course. So the venture capitalist had put together a PowerPoint all about angel investing. And my job was to turn it into a course that would fit a certain platform's standards. So what we did is I took the person's PowerPoint, the expert's PowerPoint, and I modified it so that it would fit this online course platform's standards. I narrated the videos, I created the videos, I uploaded the videos all into his account. And now he has a course that pays him an ongoing passive income. And so that is a perfectly legitimate model as well, where you are basically doing work for hire and you're getting paid up front to do that work. I got paid a pretty substantial amount of money for that process, mainly because I have a lot of experience in creating courses and I was able to create the course very quickly. And now he has an asset, something that he can point to as generating ongoing revenue for him, as well as something you can point to on his resume, so to speak, saying, I have this course about angel investing. I'm the author of this course. So that's another situation where sometimes the experts don't have the time to produce the course or to go through the learning curve themselves, but they'd be happy to pay you to do it for them. Number five is the producer model. It's similar to number four, but it's different. Uh, where you hire out the course creation process. So in this case, you're actually paying somebody, somebody who's an expert, to produce a course for you. You're saying, uh, maybe you're running ads, and you're saying, I would like someone to produce a course on this programming language. Or I would like someone to produce a course on uh, how to write a book or whatnot. And by doing that, you now pay that person X amount of money, a flat fee, to produce the course and then you own the rights to that course and you can upload that course as your own course to various online learning platforms so you pay a small upfront fee maybe it's i don't know maybe it's two hundred dollars or five hundred dollars or whatever and now you own that course and you can upload it to different sites and you could earn the revenue from that course all the cash flow that it brings for years and years and years that's the producer model. And there are several producer models on Udemy right now. There are companies that do this and they hire out the work and they just run all kinds of courses through the platform and make a lot of money that way. And number six is private label rights courses. Now, private label rights course is a course that you buy the rights to. It's a pre-done course or pre-produced course. It has everything that you need for you to just simply take it as it is and upload it to an online learning platform and be able to start selling it immediately. So the private label rights is awesome because we really don't need to do anything. You simply upload it to a site like Teachable and you can immediately start selling it to your audience, to your list, to anyone. Uh, I sell quite a few private label rights courses throughout each month. Uh, because sometimes I use these courses as bonuses, or sometimes I use them as incentive, or sometimes they just sell on their own. Uh, when people come to my teachable school and they see some of the courses that I have available, they go ahead and buy them. Or sometimes I mention them in a video and people buy them right off of my video. So, as you can see, the only one here where you need to be an expert is number one, the traditional way of creating an online course where number one you're knowledgeable about a topic you go ahead and teach that topic right but number two through six these five do not require that you be an expert and that's what i'm excited about is anyone can get into the online course marketplace and anyone can begin selling online courses I wanted to do this video so that you kind of get out of your mind that in order to be an online course creator, you've got to be an expert. No, you don't. These number two through six does not require that you be an expert. However, 
they do require that you have a self-hosted platform and there are several self-hosted platforms out there there's teachable which i've mentioned there's zendler there's thinkific uh, i personally use teachable and i recommend it i think it's a great site but the others are, are great as well and if you look below this video on youtube you'll see that i have a course that i've produced personally that shows you how to do all six of these business models using teachable i literally walk you through step by step exactly how to do it so you can take a private label rights course i show you where to find them and you could simply upload it and instantly bam you have an online course ready to sell it's that simple so go ahead and look below this video i have a special discount link there just for you and that course is going to show you it's going to walk you through and really expand on these six different topics and how to upload any one of these models to your very own teachable course. I'll see you tomorrow on The Daily Hustle.